Proverbs, Chapter 7 My son, guard my words and treasure up my commands with you. Guard my commands and live, and my Torah as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and call understanding a close friend to guard you against the strange woman, against the foreigner who flatters with her words. For at the window of my house I looked through my lattice, and I saw among the simple, I perceived among the youths, a young man lacking heart, passing through the street near her corner. And he went the way to her house, in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And look, a woman met him, dressed like a whore, with a hidden heart. She was boisterous and stubborn. Her feet did not stay at her own house. Now in the street, now in the square, and at every corner she lurks. And she took hold of him and kissed him. She hardened her face and said to him, Peace offerings are with me. Today I have paid my vows. Therefore I came out to meet you, to earnestly seek your face, and I found you. I have spread my bed with coverings, colored linens of Mitzrayim. I have sprinkled my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until morning. Let us delight ourselves with love, for my husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He took a bag of silver with him. He comes home on the day of the covering. With her many words, she leads him astray. With her smooth lips, she seduces him. He goes after her immediately. Like an ox, he goes to the slaughter, and, as in chains, a fool to the punishment, till an arrow strikes through his liver, like a bird rushing into a snare, and did not know it would take his chai. And now, listen to me, you children. Pay attention to the words of my mouth. Do not let your heart turn aside to her ways. Do not go astray in her paths, for many are the wounded she has caused to fall, and numerous all her slain ones. Her house is the way to the grave, going down to the rooms of death.